Hi guys, welcome to my third video in my mailbox because Barnes & Noble had a, a huge online sale so and I obviously can't resist buying books when they're ridiculously inexpensive. I got one book for review from NetGalley. It is Cinder and Ella by Melissa Lemon. It comes out in November and it's from Bonneville Books. It's basically a Cinderella retelling except for there are two girls one named Cinder and one named Ella. So. Also, with fairy tale retellings, I picked up a copy of Cloaked by Alex Flynn from my library. I had originally thought that this was a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood, just from the title, but I think it's actually about the Princess and the Frog, which I'm not really sure why, but we'll see. I liked um, Beastly. And then from Bewitched Bookworms, they were having an Easter egg extravaganza and I won one of the days for that and I got it. The Vampire Diaries, The Return, Shadow Souls by L.J. Smith. I haven't read any Vampire Diaries books. So can anybody tell me if you have to read them in order, if you can kind of jump around? Let me know because this is volume two. But I have a feeling that this isn't like from the original series. I think there's like offshoots. I don't know. So can someone let me know what's up with these books in the comments? I would really, really appreciate it. And then from Emily at Emily's Reading Room, she gave me a random act of kindness book. And it's an arc of Enclave by Anna Guire. It looks really good. It's dystopian, apocalyptic. I like the cover of this one. I like the cover for the um the finished work, the back cover a lot, so I'm sure if I like this, I'll be picking that up at some point. So thank you, Emily. And then I bought one school book, Socialomics. It's for the social media course I was talking about last week. So that's all really is to say about that. And then another one in the Morganville Vampire series, Bite Club by Rachel Kane. I still haven't read Ghost Town. This is one of my favorite um, YA vampire series. I really like Shane. He's a babe. Just knows what I'm talking about because I let her borrow these books. Uh, da -da. Excited to read it. And also, Dead Reckoning by Charlene Harris. I'm super excited to read this one. It's so pretty. The cover is pink, and I don't know if you can see, but it's glittery. Your hair is all glittery. Everything's glittery, pretty much. I love these books. And the television show, Eric, is my favorite. Anybody that likes Bill. I don't know if we can be friends anymore. Probably not. Bill's just... Well, Bill's Bill. But anyways, I can't wait for the TV show to start again in June. I'm just excited to read this. Read these stories till the end. Plus, Charlene Harris is super sweet. So. Okay, and then I bought Generation Dead from Barnes & Noble by Daniel Waters. I really like this cover. Let's see if you can. I like how it like travels directly onto the back cover. I think that's fun. I like when books do that. She's like super pretty. Do you see her? Super pretty. I've heard lots of good things about this series. And then I got Don't Judge a Girl by Her Cover by Allie Carter. It's the, I think, the third in the um, Gala Girl series. I have the second and now the third. I still don't have the first. I haven't read any of them. The first one had been on sale too, and then I would have bought that, but maybe some other time. So, we got Celebrity Taunts by Amanda Goldberg and Ruth Anna Cali, Cali Hopper. I'm sorry, I really butchered that last one. It's about this girl in her romps through LA during Oscar week. And it sounded like a really fun, like, summery read. She's drinking out a bottle of champagne this is with a straw, so I thought that was kind of this Summer by uh, Jennifer Eccles. This is actually two books in one. It is The Boys Next Door and then Endless Summer. I think she wrote The Boys Next Door and then people kept begging her for a sequel so she came out with Endless Summer and they're all buying enough in one book now. Rumors, a Lux novel by Anna Godverson. This is the second in the Lux series. Once again, I don't have the first. I've wanted to start this series for a while. I guess this is an incentive to do so. Their dresses, it's just all the covers I think are so pretty. The Dead and the Gone by Susan Beth 
Heifer. Uh, it's the second in the Life As We Knew It series. I haven't read Life As We Knew It yet either. But this is another apocalyptic book. I don't even want to read the back cover too much because it'll probably spoil the first book. So I'm just going to leave it as an apocalyptic book that I'm excited to read. Stop in the Name of Pants by um, Louise Renison. It's a Georgia Nicholson novel. It's the ninth one. I have only the first one. I don't know what I was thinking, but I just couldn't help myself. I really like how this whole series is written in diary format. I think it's really fun. It makes it super quick to read. The first one had me laughing like literally out loud at work and it was kind of embarrassing. But I really want to see the movie too of the first one. It, my friend Becky and she said the part where um, Georgia is running down the street in her olive Halloween costume was her favorite part of the movie. She said it was so funny and I know in the book I was laughing super hard during that. So. I'm excited and I'll be reading this. I have to get two through eight though. <laughs> we'll see when that happens. And I got the first in the Blue Bloods series by Melissa De La Cruz. I haven't read any of these either so I will have to start this sometime soon. A friend of mine, Lindsay, she said she just started reading these and said they're really addicting. And the second one in the Wake trilogy, Fade by Lisa McMahon. I've read Wake and Fade. I haven't read Gone yet but I don't own Wake either, but I bought this one anyway. Jennifer's Body. This one is based on the um, the screenplay by Diablo Cody, and so this one was written after the movie came out. I don't think I've read any books that have been written and released after their accompanying movie. I know that happened with um, the newest Little Red Riding Hood as well, which I haven't seen or read, but oh my god. Lucky Chica by Berta Platas. Platas. Uh, this girl wins $600 million in the lottery. Can you imagine that? I, I don't even know. Like, you could buy so many books. You could buy your own library. $600 million. That'd be crazy. Oh my god. Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side by Beth Fantaski. Uh, the tagline is, the undead can really screw up your senior year. Like Bella Swan, where the undead make her senior year awesome. Not really. Bella Swan's an idiot. The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. I've read this and I've seen the movie. This book is an interesting one. I don't really know what category to classify it as, just that it's a an interesting read. So if you haven't read the book or seen the movie, I would suggest doing so. I like the movie. I know a lot of people didn't, but I did, and I like the main actress. But she has also been in, she's a little bratty girl on Atonement. She is in The City of Ember, and she was just in Hannah. And then I've heard that she's signed on to play Melanie slash, I think, Wanderer in Stephanie Myers, The Host. Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. I really like the movie. Haven't read the book yet. Uh, the boy who plays Percy Jackson in the movie is going to be in Perks of, of Being a Wallflower, which is filming in my town starting, I think, the end of this month. So, and it's with Emma Watson. I'm going to have to go see if I can be an extra or something or just stock the set. I can't wait to start reading this. I hope it's better than the movie, which is usually what happens, but I really like the movie, so this would hopefully be great to be better than the movie. Last book is Every Visible Thing by Lisa Carey. Um, this boy goes missing, and this is the story about his family's life after what happened, after he goes missing. So, it's basically um, just their family struggle to regain their normalcy in their lives. Have a lovely week, and I'm not sure I'll be doing a video next week. Probably not because I'll be on vacation. Um, I would love to know what you got in your mailboxes, so link me to your IMMs. Thank you to Emily at Emily's Reading Room, NetGalley, and Bewitched Bookworms for my books this week. All that I'm going to do this week is drink Starbucks and read books and play Harry Potter Lego on my week. I hope you have an awesome week just like I'm going to have. I'll talk to you guys later and enjoy your lovely Mother's Day.